Good evening. Welcome to the show. I'm so excited you're here. Thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, it's just me tonight because Tony has recently had his little baby boy, him and his wife. We're so happy for them. So I just decided, you know what? Let's give them, let's give them a little break, you know? So it's just me here, but I have some great guests tonight. We have Kevin McCreary from Say Goodnight Kevin. We have Terry in here with some new music. We might play some games. We might do some TikToks. Who knows? I do, because I've actually already recorded all of it. This is just the intro. Let's get going with the show. I'm here with Kevin McCreary. Kevin, how are you doing? I'm doing amazing. How are you doing? Amazing. I'm all good. things considered, I, obviously. All, yeah, all things considered. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing better than a lot of other people in the world, so I'm grateful for that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so where are you calling from today? You're, well, I'm in studio, Nashville. Well, I'm in Hermitage, Tennessee. It's Nashville, oh. basically. You know, yeah, whenever you have like a small town or you, you live in a small place, you always like, you, you have to scale up, you know? Oh, I live near this place. Right, I say Denver and I'm oh, calling this... from Arvada. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah I grew up in, uh, in Campobello, South Carolina, or at least as a teenager, and nobody's ever heard of that. And I'm like, oh, Spartanburg? <laughs> nah. Greenville? Nah. Charlotte? <laughs> maybe, maybe just keep okay, rounding sure, up to the Charlotte. highest city. Yeah. Uh, oh, gosh. The, the East Coast? The, <laughs> this part of the map? <laughs> um, so how's your quarantine been? How has the quarantine affected your creativity, your process as a creator? Mm, mm, yes. Uh, it's been fine. Um, I think I've spent a lot less time doing creative stuff, I think during this uh i've been hanging out with my wife a lot uh there's been stuff you know she had to cut my hair because i had to film a thing and right yeah that was not fun for either of us and dramatic uh, I, I had to get it done and i'm like nobody's open uh you're a professional you gotta you gotta get your hair cut yeah so um i've been you know What's funny is I could easily shave, but I'm like, where do I have to be? <laughs> Nowhere. What am I going to do? Agree to be on some late night Christian late night show or something? That's it. That's all I got. <laughs> For a Zoom call? <laughs> I'll be fine. And, uh, we accept and, you however you look, Kevin. Thank you. I really, <laughs> that, that means a lot. And we, um, we've painted and stained the deck because last year oh, I built deck. deck. Yeah. Bro, I listened to your podcast weekly updates on your deck for a while. So That's I'm glad I get one that. in person now. So the deck is uh, the deck is now stained. Uh, it was uh, weird because we got we bought one stain. This is good. You guys want to hear this? We bought <laughs> one stain, and uh, and as we're painting the fence, we're hating it. We just don't like it. And we're like, we bought all this stain. I wanted mm. like a gray that would sink into the wood, but it just was kind of looked like a thin paint, you know? And yeah. So, we decided to bite the bullet and just buy a different stain. And uh, so, and we really liked the stain we got better, so. So you did it like one and a half times, really? Yeah, uh, well, we, we stained the fence. And, uh, and so that, before ah. we did the deck, we realized, oh, this is not what we want. And we, we love this deck so much, so. And I, I did it all by myself. Not, that's not like a brag. It's just, <laughs> if I had help, it probably would a have been A humble brag. Easier. No, Kevin, it's a praise report. Yes, yes. <laughs> I just want to give a praise that I'm a, awesome. Just praise God for that. It's not me. Praise Jesus. <laughs> if it were up to me, I'd be a total loser. But God wanted me to be amazing. What am I going to do? His will be done. Yeah. <laughs> so... When you make videos, what is your favorite type of video to make? Mm. What do you just, what gives you energy when you're doing it? My favorite types of videos are usually the ones that nobody watches. Uh, <laughs> so then I, I all That's videos, the if you Feel listen yeah. to, if you'd listen to the, if you listen to the inner tube, my uh, old podcast, I guess at this point, uh, cause we haven't done an episode in forever. Um, it, uh, we said something about like finding kind of that, that triune of, creativity where it's something that you really enjoy doing it's something that people actually enjoy watching or or mm. and that you know that some people are fine with just painting a picture and putting it in their own house and not caring if anybody sees it but if you're putting stuff out on the internet obviously you want people to like it and uh and you want it to grow 
Um, and then something that you're actually good at, because sometimes you like doing things and you're not actually good at it. Not, not even so much that, oh, I don't, if you're not good at something and people enjoy watching it, that's fine. But if, meaning like, if you enjoy doing it, but it takes forever to do it every time, right. kind of like I do, I paint myself into a corner by uh, having videos that take re a really long time to make. Uh, well, yeah, some, some of them are pretty long though. Yeah. Uh, I do do movie reviews and yeah, it, it takes a lot, especially because some people, um, they'll do kind of movie reviews where they just, they're riffing the whole time and those are fun, but sometimes like there's a movie that comes out that's big, you know, like everybody's mm -hmm. talking about how good and wonderful and important this movie is. And I watch it and I'm like, this is not that great. And so <laughs> I feel this responsibility to explain myself. Because if I just say, boy, this movie's terrible. Then you look and, like you're just a hater yes. for the sake of it. I just feel for the attention. Burden to convince the people who love the movie why, <laughs> why it's I'm not, not good. just angry. I'm not just so uh, I'm not just Kevin Sorbo from God's Not Dead, you know? Where I just yeah, hate don't God be a and Kevin so I'm gonna Sorbo review this movie. God's not dead. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so so uh, my next question was you kind of answered it already. What would you give advice to people just starting their YouTube channels like me and others? What's, what's one piece of advice for them? I know you have a whole podcast on it, but yeah, what's one yeah, solid piece? I need to say, uh, <laughs> no, but I, I definitely think that that's the important thing. Like what you're doing is you've gotten it started. You've gotten it going. You, you kind of had a vision and being open to allowing that vision to change as you see people responding to different things or as you find oh i enjoy doing this thing more and like with me i didn't start out reviewing movies and even with my movie reviews i've i've tried a few different things um you know josh and i did the bargain ben stuff for a while mm -hmm. which was you know that was easier to do but it also didn't i think it it aimed very much at a core audience um more than it did like expanding an audience i don't think a lot of people who hadn't watched my videos before watched the bargain bin episodes. But oh, yeah. I definitely think people who love my show love those videos. Um, so Right. And you said and that's one of your favorites to make too, you said yes, before. That, yeah. Um, and so like, and it's also easy, you know, because it's just watch a thing. Um, lately I've been doing this thing where, well, I've, I've got a podcast and that's a lot of fun because I just get to talk to people who are in the, the film industry. The and industry. They're in the industry. They're in the industry. They're they're in a industry adjacent usually. You know, they they, they saw a guy who made a movie once, but <laughs> I th I find that so fascinating. So, but again, you know, you have to find the things that people also enjoy, and people like those. But there's also that. I remember. I I don't want to go on too long, but uh, let me tell you, son. When I was in college. Uh, I I w had a I originally was going to be a youth minister. I, w I went in for a degree in youth ministry, which is a kind of a weird, insane thing to have to get a degree in. But right. uh, it's just babysitting, right? So the <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, but it is true. All your Liberty University friends are going to be like, um, excuse me, is <laughs> excuse me, I have a very real degree. degree and so one of the classes I took it it talked about kind of the the funnel of ministry. And so you have in ministry, and this is like, this is also marketing. So this is why I bring it up. You have like your uh, outreach up at top, up at the top. And that's a mm -hmm. lot of people, you know? And so you want to make content that reaches out to a lot of people and, or having events, you know, having a concert with the uh, Reliant K there, that's your outreach, get them in the door, you know? And right. Then, your hook. Yeah. <laughs> and then it, it funnels down to where you have, um, you know, your, uh, your kind of church goers event mm -hmm. stuff, you know, Sunday morning and Sunday school and stuff like that, uh, youth group. And then you have your discipleship, which is like your small group or your one-on-one -on -one accountability buddy, accountability, accountability buddy. Uh, and honestly, that's how it is making content. Now, I think it's, mm -hmm. I, it's a little weird for me, like taking that class. I'm like, this is weird. This is like how to market Jesus. 
<laughs> but I get it to have an effective, like even Jesus, they, they, they argued this, that even Jesus had this, where he had like the disciples, which is like all the people who were following her, who right. were following him. Sorry, Jesus isn't a woman, uh, or maybe he is. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> and then you have hey, we, the, we were there. The twelve, the twelve, and then he had his three, and then Simon Peter, um, and so there. And it is true that you can't give the type of like uh, attention to everyone. So. Um, all of that to say, when you're making videos, sometimes you got to think, well, this one's for the true fans. And then other mm -hmm. times it's like, this one's for people who've never seen me make a video before. And how is that going to, uh, if somebody came across this, is that going to make sense? Or is it just a bunch of in jokes? Right, um, right. Think about you got to do both. Gotta, you think gotta, about your audience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's good advice. So I link to a charity every week, and the charity this week you've chosen is? Uh, it's not a charity at all. How Whoa! about that? I know. I like to be different. I like to change it up. Now, there's this yeah. app that was started by a guy I know named Gret Glyer. The name of the app is Donorcy. And uh, what I really like about it is they, they're not a charity. They're not a, a ministry, but they are a place that facilitates you to be able to give to people who are in need. And so in some ways it's kind of like a, um, like a, uh, I guess you could say like a, a mixture of like a, a, what is it? A crowdfunding sort of thing. Oh yeah. Uh, but specifically for, um, you know, helping people who are in need. The guy, uh, Gret was a min, uh, missionary in Africa for years and he did a lot of great work. He helped build a, um, a girls school and did had, had done a lot of like raising money uh doing these projects and stuff and he uh then started a he he was like well let, if i can do this and i'm just one guy maybe i can make it so that a lot of people can do this and so what i like about it is it kind of cuts out the middleman and it's cool because there's you know you get to see pictures and videos they're encouraged to upload videos and stuff i love that yeah. Cool. Well, thank you. That links are down below and we will get into our game. Here we go. I went through your videos and I found random quotes. I was thinking we could play a game called Kevin out of context. Okay. Where you have to see if you can remember which video you said these quotes in and it's probably impossible. Yes, this will be tough. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? Yes. First quote. That Tootsie Pop commercial is kind of asking an existential and answerable question. And the journey of eating a Tootsie Pop is something that is different for everybody. Ooh, that you, <laughs> you might be able to get it. This is a uh, case for Christ. Yes. That was a live stream video. Wow. Initial thoughts. Case yeah. For Christ. Wow. <laughs> I'm impressed. Okay. I, I, I hate that video uh, because <laughs> I didn't, I didn't figure out my camera or anything yet. So it's like skipping the whole time. <laughs> so there you, ha there you have it. Relatable. <laughs> Are you ready for the second quote? Yeah, I'm ready. I need the affirmation. So please affirm me in the comments. Ooh, this could be any video. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's not yeah, that's, video that's specific all at all. Oh, shoot. Is this a Kendrick Brothers review. It's the video titled, You're Invited to My House. Also, I have a new website. Nice. So that's, well, you know, topical uh, callback because I talk about my deck and having just finished it. Wow. So go watch that. And if you want context for these, go watch Kevin's channel. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm giving go. you the, the video title. So you can go check these out. Find yeah, content. I did not remember that. But again, I probably ask for affirmation and comments in every video. So right, <laughs> I did, I try to avoid like your catchphrases and stuff. Yeah, a which quote is it's Christian. Yeah, when did I say that? Though you could have asked, what was the first video? That's isn't it from Blimey Cow? It is a from a Blimey Cow video. Some people they're like, I searched your channel and couldn't find the first video, and I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, it's not even. I think it's um <laughs> putting the word Christian in front of something doesn't make it christian oh it's all about that that's right yeah yeah that's right 
this is becoming what we were just calling an in video for people. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Third quote. It's a little weird to get into the rules of the sentientness of the toys. Like, when does your life begin? Uh, my Toy Story 4 review. Oh, so close. It's your trailer reaction. Oh, I'll give you man. a point. <laughs> <laughs> you have to get more than half of these right to win. To win. No prize. Good. <laughs> what is, okay, ready? What if one of those YouTubers, what if I was one of those YouTubers that had an intro tagline every time I do a video like this? What up, sleepyheads? Bro fists. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> shoot. Um, it would have been one of the early reaction videos, like where mm -hmm. I'm copying PewDiePie. Uh, <laughs> And is it like a trailer reaction? Mm -mm. Oh, I don't think so. It's three words. I don't know. I I give up. From get that gold. Oh, okay. Get that gold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Okay. Ready? Now all I've lost. Now I've lost all the Christians. Great. <laughs> That could be any one of them either. <laughs> it's from Is Superman Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> Which that was a long time ago. Really funny out of context. Yeah. Uh, this one is We Can't Just Abandon All the Children. We Can't Just Abandon All Children. I don't believe I even meant it. it might, <laughs> hopefully not. It's. Um, I think it's one of your quotes where you like go into a character and you're like, this is what someone says. And you like do the voiceover thing. Mm. I think you're being a character at that point. Am I, in la am I being droopy? But half it. <laughs> no, no, it's not droopy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shoot. Boy. I told you, I, there's no way. I can't believe there's I got no that way. first These one. are too hard. Pure Flix makes a viral video, Samsung 2018. Oh, Samsung. Super Bowl. Samson, yeah, Samson. Yes. Samsung. That's Samson right. Samson rejected Super Bowl ad campaign. That's the video title. That's another clickbait title because it, they weren't rejected Super Bowl campaigns, but I was like, oh, this might, this might. It lie. looked like it. That was a funny video. Right. Um. Second to last one. Let's see if you can get these last two. Okay, here we go. There's a donut that's labeled correctly. <laughs> <laughs> There's a donut that's labeled correctly. Mm. Uh, is this a bargain bin? Uh, it's Kevin's mail bag. Oh. So close. So close. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Because it, am I talking about a kids thing? Mm -hmm. Okay. There's a donut. Kevin's mailbag. Episode yep. three. I'm ready for the last quote. I think you might be able to oh. get this last one. Okay. This is this, oh, this one, one's for all the money. This one's for right? all the marbles. So many marbles. We want them all. <laughs> you want to bring in the blessings, the financial blessings. The financial blessings. How to make a Christian movie. Yeah, it's it's yes, one of the first things one. on your it's your home page video. <laughs> <laughs> that one's the one that I'm like, okay, if anybody wants to know, that one's the the, the uh top it's like of the, the thesis statement of yes. your channel. <laughs> you want to know what my channel is? Watch this video. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, thanks for playing that. Thanks for coming on the show. I really appreciate Absolutely. your time. This was fun. This was a blast. If you're ever in Colorado or Denver, rounding up. If you're ever in Denver, okay. You come by the show. Well, even if I'm just in Colorado, I'll I'll go to Denver. Sweet. Talk to you soon. All right. Next up is our musical guest, Tarian. Hey, what's going on, Tarian? How are you? Dude, I'm doing well. How are you doing? Good. I'm excited that you're here. Where are you calling from today? I'm Memphis, Tennessee. Tennessee. Nice. What's it like right now? <laughs> Pretty sunny right now, which I'm not mad about. So, yeah. Nice. Um... What have you been doing to keep busy over the quarantine? Have you been busy or has it been more of a resting season? Well, the first part of quarantine was super restful. Um, my mm -hmm. husband and I are both homebodies, so we weren't too mad about it. Um, and I mean, just, you know, the needed grocery store trips and 
all that fun stuff, you know, trying to stay away from people as much as possible. Uh, and I, yeah. I got to go back out on the road actually a couple weeks ago. So I just finished up like a two week tour. So now I'm oh, back. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. How was that? That was fun. It was a drive-in movie theater tour. So, you know, we were one of the first Christian bands to get to do it. Um, and I mean, it's different, but we were just all grateful to be out there, you know, getting to go sing for people and do some work. Nice. That's awesome. I saw a few of those pop up, but that's, that's so fun. Yeah, I love dude. it. Like attend a uh, drive-in concert. That's, that's pretty fun. Yeah. Um, so tell me about your new music. You were kind of getting going with um, some singles and some new music this year. Yeah, man. So we've uh, been releasing since last year, and I think we've released four singles so far. Nice. Um, it, it took a good bit of time to figure out what that sound would be. Um, so I had been signed to Goatee like two years before I even released anything. Oh, um, no because, way, really? Yeah, uh, because we wanted to just make sure everything was like right and, you know, that it would represent me as an artist well. Um, and lately I've gotten to do like a couple more features. So I got to be on Aaron Cole's song and I got to be on Jordan Galisa's song, um, nice. which was pretty, pretty special. So, yeah, it's been really fun. That's awesome. Yeah. Did you record with Jordan Felice remotely or did you guys go into a studio somewhere? So I had to go into town to do some stuff for Toby. And that's when I found out that Felice wanted both of us on the song. And so while we were there, we just cut the vocals for it. Um, oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we just like, while you're there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it was pretty dope. About that song. I was thinking maybe we could do some TikToks to that song, get okay. some dancing and going, come up with some dance moves. Um, but before we do that, I was wondering, uh, you have a charity you wanted to promote for this episode that I'll yeah. link down to below. So can you tell us a little bit about that? So Angel Street is a nonprofit organization that is based in under-resourced communities uh, for where there's a lack of the arts. And we noticed that a lot of the schools were taking out choir and theater. And so we decided to bring that program to the inner city. The cool thing is the first location for Angel Street is the neighborhood I grew up in, and I got to be a part of that original group of Angel Street, um, which was originally supposed to just be a choir um, for a one-time like performance, and then the Lord was like, no, we need this to be a full-functioning program. Um, so we got that to be a full-functioning program, and it's so dope to like look at these girls who have grown up in the same community that I grew up in being impacted the way that I was impacted. So, so yeah, it's pretty special. That's awesome. Yeah. Sweet. Okay, links down below. You can check more out about that. And now uh, we are going to make some TikToks to glorify I All found right. the version with you and Toby, and oh, dope! It's not. I I'm I have it on my iPad, but I don't have it um on TikTok. Okay. And I think you can add it somehow. I'm such a boomer. I don't know what's going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. What part of the song do you think is the best? Um. Like most upbeat. Uh, definitely the chorus. Okay, let's see. I think I have. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's like about the right amount of time, right? Yeah. Yep. So maybe since there's not a sound, I'll push play on this and then we can do our choreographed dance thing okay. to, to it. Um, does that sound good? Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, hmm. So it starts with glorify. What what are some some good dance moves? Um, something simple too. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we want people to do this and yeah. do it with us. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, you can go glorify. You know, you can like go from side, man, that yeah. side. You know, raise the roof a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. So. Cool. Uh, Glorify your name. We can glorify your name. Like just like a little shimmy in the middle. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Let's do it. Ready? Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Okay, let me cue it up. 18 ish seconds. Totally, like, screwed up gonna all be doing that too. talking about, yeah. We, we What's up? That. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. All right, late night chat with Zach on TikTok. I live one other video. 
follow that. Check out that TikTok we just made. Thank you so much, Terry, for coming on the show. Yes, yeah, <laughs> Awesome. Thanks for having me, man. And that's our show. Thanks so much for watching. Totally appreciate you guys sticking around to the end. Be sure to like this video, subscribe, share, hit all the buttons. And I will see you guys on the next episode. Good night, everybody.